Yeah, that's the question. What are the easiest clubs to hit in this fitting bay? And then the second question is, if they are the easiest to hit, why aren't they in my golf bag? Let's find out. So let me explain what today's video is all about and why it's come about, because it's something that wasn't planned. I walked in this morning, it's a pretty cold and miserable day in the UK. Yes, we're back to our normal UK weather. And I always get a little bit of a warm up and I always go to one particular iron to warm up with. The iron that I find the most easiest to hit. I don't have to make a great deal of effort, don't have to put a great swing on, but I start to get the ball out there, find a bit of rhythm, bit of tempo, and then I'll move into the review. And it got me questioning, if that's the club I go to for my warm up, if it's the easiest club that I find to hit, they ain't in my golf bag, why not? Now maybe the first thing I need to do is quantify what do I mean by the easiest golf club to hit? Right, let me explain. So what I'm talking about is if I'm not quite striking it bang out the button out the middle, what gives me the most assistance? Some people say forgiveness is a debatable thing. How do you describe forgiveness? But what I explain it as is simple. If I'm not finding that middle, what's happening when I'm hitting off centre hits? What is the ball doing in terms of performance? And that's what I class as the most easy to hit golf club in this driving range. So the easiest golf club to hit in this custom fit bay, is it the Apex Pro from Callaway? No. Is it the TaylorMade P730s? No. Titleist MBs maybe? What about Mizuno 919 Tours? None of them either. I hope by now he's starting to get the picture. Half a swing, no great rhythm, no great warm up, no great tempo, and this ball still fires out there pretty much every time. Not sure what that is. Now I know you can't see where these are going and I could be telling you absolutely anything. These could be thin bullets along the ground and you wouldn't know any difference. But hopefully you can tell by the strike and the sound exactly what's happening in terms of ball contact and where it's going is a, is a different match altogether. But the point being this, I've got half a swing on these things. These are the first shots I've hit all day. No warm up, cold and miserable day. This is the club I go to. To warm up, get a bit of tempo and the ball is absolutely flying out there. So again, the question is, Anne, if this is the easiest club to hit in this fit bay, why is it in your golf bag? Now at this stage of the video, I need some comments from you. I need some feedback. What made you choose your irons? What made you choose your driver? What made you choose your wedges? Was it, were they the easiest clubs that you chose? When I say easiest, let's go back to that forgiveness element. Was that the reason you chose them? What was the performance factor that made you choose them? Do you now doubt whether or not you made the right decision in terms of the irons, the clubs, the driver, the wedges that you chose to buy? Because you factored in a little bit of golf snobbery because that's ultimately what it's got to be down to, hasn't it? If I'm not playing the clubs that are the easiest in this custom fit beta hit, then what's the logic? Why have I done it? Have you done the same? Comments down below. I need some feedback. Now I know there's many reasons why you choose the golf clubs that go in your bag and it isn't maybe just that simple as being the easiest to hit. Maybe it should be. And we've got to factor in things like um, performance in terms of distances, in terms of gapping, in terms of spin numbers, all these things that we start to look at when we go for a custom fit. But I sometimes wonder, are we overlooking the number one factor, which is like I said, the easiest to hit. And the easiest to hit ultimately is the most forgiving. It gives us greater performance for off center hits. And I think sometimes maybe referring to that golf snobbery and I include myself in that bracket clearly, is that we overlook that one thing, forgiveness. Forgiveness is the key, isn't it? That's the bit. 
it's ultimately forgiving our poor performance and getting something out of a golf club that we don't necessarily deserve in terms of the swing we put on it and I think it's a key factor I think it's one that we ignore I think it's one that I ignore looks aesthetics all these things come into play and sometimes they're the reasons they're the things that sway us towards other clubs but we still need to know what is the easiest golf club in this custom fit beta hit I think it's time we give it a bit of a reveal So, the easiest club to hit in this custom fit centre is... Drum roll please. Let's get a focus on it. Focus. It's the Callaway Big Bertha. I've hit loads of irons over the last couple of years and I have to say, the Callaway Big Bertha iron is something and it's this year's model obviously and it's something that I keep coming back to I tried it and I tested it, I did my individual review and it's fair to say I was fair, very very positive about this thing it performed extremely well it's got strong lofts and yes it does all those things that a game improvement iron should do it's a little bit bulky, it's a little bit of a chunkier top line but by no means this is a big golf club it's one of the things that really impressed me at the time when I tried these things I love the black finish as well superb looking golf club but for some reason it's not the club that I choose to put in the bag and the reason I don't put it in the bag is perhaps for all the wrong reasons it's because aesthetically I prefer a smaller looking club I prefer a shinier chrome finish I prefer something that's lofted a little weaker I prefer a forged feel but none of those things are gonna make me play better golf or more consistent golf. And that's the question that I asked this morning. Why do I keep getting warmed up with a club that I find the easiest to hit in this custom fit center, and yet I don't choose to game it? Golf snobbery is all I can put it down to. I've no idea. I don't know why I do it. It's still not gonna go in a bag. I'm still gonna end up gaming a club that is ticks all those other boxes. I think I must be a little bit stupid, I think, is the ultimate <laughs> result of this club testing video this morning. The big reveal is, the easiest club to hit in this custom fit centre is, in terms of irons, the Callaway Big Bertha 2019 version. Go out and try it yourself, but more importantly this video is about why we make these selections, why we are ruled, why our decisions are based on other factors, on perhaps what is best for our game. Right, hope you enjoyed that video comments down below I really want your feedback on this one I'm gonna carry on warming up with the easiest iron in this fit center that's another one gone hey you sound, oh, like, a uh, you sound like a completely different bloke today. my voice is gone mate honestly <laughs> but we have got a fit mate seriously just repeat that line I've stopped too early don't I, do that what did you just say then after hitting I said, there how good are these irons they awesome Now, the, the video was finished, and I swear to God there is no setup here. He has walked in, I've given him a bit of stick about the football last night. That club was set up, and the first thing he said was, how good are these irons? There's another one. They're not in your bag though, Lou, are they? Not, no, Why no. not? Deception. <coughs> uh. We've conquered all of your love, <laughs> we're never gonna stop. Do you want to do the next line? Do you want to do the next line? You're the exact reason why I want City to win the league. <laughs> My voice. I haven't mentioned this on video yet. Let's just end the video there. The Man United supporter. I've waited for him all this time. Apologies if my voice hasn't been great throughout this video. I'm a little bit worn out from last you're night. The, you're the reason why I want City to win the league. You can't Unbearable. say that. You, you can't We're say that. We're having a conversation about forging cast irons, and all of a sudden some emojis come through about a football game that I wasn't even watching. So you're pleased for that win last night? The greatest comeback in European history? Oh, come on, mate. Two 